Hello and welcome back dear friends, it's me Odo. We are back in our campaign of Pathfinder Kingmaker and we are um, nearly at the end of the troll quest. It is the Dwarven Ruins. When we enter them, we normally should uh, meet the troll and kobold king that work together. And we will have to defeat them. Um, yeah, let's try this. Let's try this. I know there is a possibility to keep the trolls or the kobolds in your land and they help you. But I'm not sure how to do it. And if we take a Kundayo with us, we can't take the trolls, or else a Kundayo will leave. Um, so it's a bit, a bit tricky. I wanted to keep the um, the um, kobolds anyway. Splendid! I knew you couldn't hide me for you. I knew you couldn't hide from me forever, you elusive dwarven outpost. Jubilos digs the map out of his pocket and makes a mark on it. That's it, on behalf of all the institutions of inner sea, I hereby thank you. As a matter of fact, I'm even qualified to reward you your help in hard coin. He gets out his purse and throws it to you. Well... 1,800 gold coins, that's quite nice. Now all I have to do is finish my article for the independence about the state of affairs in your barony. Jubilus looks at you defiantly. I will be honest with you. Unfortunately, I can't write anything too good. Monsters, roaming roads... <laughs> oh, this is bad. I mean, he's... Pro I, I'm not sure he's, he's chaotic neutral, I think. <sighs> I really hate to take that awful evil thing here. Find interesting stuff, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, but I'll do it. So that's how you see it. All right, have it your way. Jupiter's bows. This gauge is losing with me. If perform, yeah, whatever. I'll need some time to finish my article. Until then, I'll stay at your capital. I'm sure you don't mind. Great. By the way, I'd be pleased to travel with you sometime if you wanted to have a conversation with someone smarter than your usual companion. Yeah, he. Probably, yeah. Takes it, takes it like a gnome. <laughs> Arim should say something too. He wanted to see this as well. The renowned explorer. It's almost unbelievable. What ever. Was he? Okay, the ancient blah blah blah. Yeah, we we done this troll trouble. Okay, why is it sometimes from bottom to top and sometimes from top to bottom? Probably when we finish, it's from top to bottom, and when we not finish, ah, we've located the troll there. Now we're ready to destroy this bag of evil once and for all. To root them out mercilessly with all our might. Well, I'm not sure about that. Ooh. All that's left is to build an abortion. We did this. <laughs> Ancient curse part two. Okay. What's that? Oh, yeah, this is the things we need to look for. The 
spell name and this is yeah we also have to look for but that's somewhere else mm -hmm. but whatever I know we will meet here a nice troll or at least a troll that is not too aggressive. Hail Borba. A troll who stands before you looks different from his skin. His belt is cleaner and his stench is almost bearable, unlike the other trolls. Noticing you, he turns and slowly steps toward you. Hail Borba. The troll's voice is rough and gravelly. Welcome to Troubled. Jubilus Tour, now I've seen everything. Not here to talk. Rose will speak in my stead. Yeah, well, if we have Ekondayo with us, it's hard to, to discuss with Rose. He grins widely, widely, revealing a row of long, rotten and chipped teeth. But there's no menace in it. Why lawful evil attack? Yeah, well, we can do this anyway later on. Who are you? Jason. The troll pounds his chest, making a hollow thud. I had different name before. Now Jason, like Bob. He thrusts out his chest and dribble of drool. And a dribble of drool from his mouth promptly lands here. Yeah. Me talk like Borba, wash me myself like Borba, and no eat Borba. Me is like Borba myself. Okay. Troubled. Ours capital, the troll exclaims, waving his hand towards the rock. Kingdom of both Troll and Kobold. We live here now in peace with Borba, our land. <laughs> yes, the troll agrees. Tartuk speaks like that. Taught me Borba language. Told I'm smart. The troll proceeds to scratch his armpit, then sniff his fingers. Jubilos squints an eye. As he listens to Jason, was that the same Tartuk who attempted to steal my cart, or is Tartuk a common name among kobolds born? Tartuk the one and only, king of kobolds, friend of trolls. Jason's voice sounds earnest and respectful. In that case, he's in for one unforgettable audience today. Okay. But I think Jubilos is more reasonable in in talking with kobolds than uh, Ekundayo is in talking with um, with trolls. What do you mean, Borba? You are Borba. The troll hesitates. Human, elf, dwarf, all Borba. Okay, all right. What do you want from me? Troll makes a strange growl. You're about to draw your weapons, and it becomes evident that he was simply clearing his throat. I meet Borba and tell them King Hargulka and King Tartuk ask that Borba stay away from Trobold. It's filthy, not pretty and dangerous. <clears throat> we invite Borba later, when kings allow. Tell me more about Trobold. First city for both Troll and Kobold. Will be kingdom. Troll and Kobold and Borba will do friendship. Troll no eat Borba anymore. And Borba no kill Troll and Kobold anymore. Peace. A bit smile appears on Harem's face. Proud citadel of dwarves turned into a lair for Troll and Kobold. Would it be possible to humiliate Torak any further? <laughs> He's so great. 
Who is Hagulka? King of all trolls, strong, smart, kind. The troll stutters slightly and pauses for a moment. Made all trolls together. Made kingdom like Orba. Who started? King of all kobolds, strong, smart, kind. The troll chews on his tongue momentarily. Fire killed trolls before. Tartuk protects trolls from fire. So now trolls forever love Tartuk and his kobold. Jason's eyes widen and he shifts back. Rabba Kurga. Iron red and hot. Heat. Trolls scream and scream and scream. Gudunga Urga Bobba pain. He flails his hands in the air, then quiet. No more pain. Fire no danger anymore. Troll no die from fire no more. You'll understand, Borba. Troll no more die at all. Fire is no death. Steel is no death. Tartuk made Troll immortal. Yeah, probably. What else can you tell me about Troll? Many Troll, many Kobolds live together. Learn Borba speak. Paint walls. Tartuk protect Troll from fire. Mm hmm. Plenty food too, plenty loot, troll and kobold share. Aren't eating people anymore? Me no eat Boba no more, Jason claims proudly. King Hargulka and King Tautuk order so. Other trolls still eat Boba. They wild and dumb, soon they stop. So what do you eat now? Horse, cow, dog, and scratches his belly. Dead Borba too, sometimes. Long dead before Hagulka's order. No need to wait food. Ah, <laughs> oh, that's great. <laughs> that's enough about food. Tell me about... <laughs> oh, glad to hear you don't eat people anymore. Let me ask you something else. Okay. Uh, we could we could let him lead us to the king. I'm I'm pretty sure it's not possible. I'm pretty sure we have to hack our way through to the king anyway. So, um, also, Ekandayo won't be won't be happy. Or we could take the lawful evil act. <laughs> hmm. Well, we know what we wanted to know, and we wanted to kill anyway any everyone inside the citadel. So we could start with him. And not lie to him. Why is Amiri first? Oh no, we didn't. We didn't sleep. That's too bad. Let's see if the acid bombs will do the job. Like killing the regeneration. Ah, oh, come on, dog. Really? A one and a two? <laughs> At least he didn't didn't hit the dog as well. Ah. <laughs> Amiri has to do this. 
really well um Let me see it like that. Move there. Cannot hide from me. Ooh, critical hit. That's nice. Is he that footed? I'll lose your corpse. We found the ancient woven fortress. Yeah, okay. What's that? It's a magical hide armor. Hide armor plus three. This was great to kill him. This is the um something for Amiri. Not bad. Not bad. The way seems clear. So we've done with the first of the troll. I think we now meet a few um, kobolds before we meet the next. Oh, there is a kobold, as I said. Hey, come on! Don't hit her, she's not in front. Boom, see ya. This one. Okay, um, you'll just Okay, you didn't. Are you flat footed? Yes, you are. Ah, oh, come on. Another two? Really? <sighs> Can't you just shoot at someone else? What spells do you have? No, nothing really. Well, then shoot. Wait, just, just shoot at him with your crossbow. 
Really? It moved too far? Hey, what's that? Yay, Harim. Come on, shoot at Valerie. She's the one. No, don't shoot at the dog. You'll shoot at the at the nice guys. Really? Miri killed this one. Okay, he can't die. Come on, this is oh, really Wait, friend, I can stop you. I've got this near. Can feel it on the ground, on the grass, on those rocks. Everything is soaked with his. Must tell you about him. You need be prepared. This fight will not be easy. What do you want to tell me? Rock troll. Have more strength, brutality than the regular ones. Cargo, as long as we fought, he rushed buildings with his fists, fought people up, tore them apart. During our fight, he just swept my body aside, like he would sweep aside horse fly, annoyed by not harmed by bugs. Do not be fooled by his clumsiness. 
he can be very fast. Carved in my memory, flying through air towards a fence, a hit in a, in a head, in a head. Doubled vision in the eyes, inability to stand up, inability to raise a bow, taste of blood in the mouth. Ekon looked somewhere ahead, his gaze is still and heavy. His face looks like a mask, often the same rock as the troll he tells you about. How did you know his name? The troll shouted it as a war cry. Anthem, Cargot, Cargot, Cargot. They were yelling it when he crushed the walls of our house, when he killed. It was Cargot who killed your family? Hmm. Should you know the details? Kun nods in gratitude, but the pain in his eyes doesn't subside. Why did the troll leave you alive? He was in a haste. The night was ending. In the light of dawn, rock trolls turned to rock they, they originated from. Sunlight is the worst, is his worst enemy. Cargot knows that. So let's sum up. What do we know about this Cargot? Cargot is a rock troll. Thus he has greater size and strength than regular trolls. Fire and acid are not deadly to him, but still can hurt him. Weakness is sunlight. He has no desire to turn stone. Ekon grants. Dungeon gives him strength to heal himself with his wounds. Battle will be held inside his home. Thank you for telling me your story. I guess we will be able to defeat Carver. Lead us to battle. Thank you. This monster must not survive. Okay. Okay, let's take this, 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 this. What's that? Quality bow. More masterwork. Bring it. Okay. Um, I think this is the point where we will stop for today. I hope you enjoyed it. And we're still in this fight. I'm not sure why. This is a bit irritating. Troll hounds and troll. Let's make that on there. Only next time. Dog. Come to us. Come, doggy, doggy, doggy. Okay, um, my dear friends, I hope you enjoyed it. See you next time. Until then, bye.